Hello guys, it is just um, about half past 12 midnight on the 9th of January 2020 and I am about to begin work on my last cake or final cake for the week. Uh, don't be surprised, I tend to do, I work my cake in activities at night. I hope you're all staying well, staying safe in the circumstances with yourselves and your families. Well, as I'm going to begin this, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about, about myself and my activities in the caking world. To begin, just want to say thank you to our new followers. Uh, sometimes I just notice that sometimes people um, unfollow and then some ac accounts get deactivated. I don't know why. If you do know why this happens, please do share with me. I'll be grateful for the information. Anyways, I do my caking activities mainly at night. Thank you for staying with us, for being here. Thank you to all our followers. I do appreciate you. And by the way, my name is Oluwa Kemi and uh, I am the face behind Stemak Cakes. Or should I say the voice behind Stemma Cakes? Because I'm not going to be sharing any face now. Anyways, I'll be telling you sh uh, just a little bit about um, my caking activities while I'm doing this work tonight. And yes, I do most of my caking activities at night around this time. Because I work full time in the legal profession. I am a barrister. I've been called about in, the, in England and Wales since 2009. And even though we're currently in lockdown in England, I still do go to work. Uh, my, my work is considered as essential for the running of the country. So I returned from, from work at about just past six, did a little bit of my eating activities, had dinner, and then had a good rest for about four hours before now having a hot bath and now coming downstairs to commence work for you. If you're my customer having this cake on Sunday, I am about to commence work on these beautifully delicious cake layers. This pile consists of vanilla sponge and Madeira orange flavor. I am going to start work on it now. This is where we are currently. The top of the cakes are currently trimmed off. I'm now gonna move on now to the torting into layers. All my cakes are now fully torted into two layers each as you can see in this um, selection I've got two sizes. I've got six inches round sizes, three of them torted into two cake layers each, and um, 10 inch hexagon tier again torted into two cake layers each. It's gonna be a uh, two tier birthday cake, and I must tell you, this is a very essential tool I use for my cake and decoration. It helps me to ensure that my cakes are properly le uh, leveled without one type being too higher than the other. So, it is essential. Now, I'm now going to move on to the filling of the cake layers with buttercream. This is my very delicious homemade buttercream, which I'm going to be using for this um, filling of cake um, layers tonight. I have a video on my YouTube channel of how I created this very smooth and delicious um, uh, homemade buttercream. If you're interested, please head over to my YouTube channel at Olua Kemi Osege and um, or you can follow the link on my barrel to take it to my YouTube channel and there are other videos as well that might interest you. So we're not gonna I'm not going to proceed to the filling of these cake layers now. At this stage my cake layers are stacked and filled with buttercream and that is where we are at at the moment. And my 10 inch hexagon tier is currently standing at 
just under six inches in height and six inch round tear is standing at seven inches in height i am going to leave it for now uh, for about an hour to rest before i begin trimming right fill my cakes with buttercream before i trim uh, the edges now i am now going to move on to the preparation of the edible images for my cake i print out my edible images myself so i'm now going to move on to the preparation of the images and the printing up so see you in a bit hello good morning guys i hope you all woke up wonderfully well this morning yes this is where we are at my cakes are now well trained and ready to move on to the next stage you can see the 10 inch hexagon tier and also the 6 inch round tier um, it's all well centered and um, start, properly stacked and sturdy so as you can see I cannot do without this my two it is an essential tool used to ensure that my cakes are stable Another two I cannot do with that, or that I'm very now used to, is this um, rectangle rule. It helps me to ensure my, my sides are well trimmed and, and straight. You can see that. I will now be moving on to the next stage of the process, which is ganaching. I only ganache my cakes if I'm creating fondant decorated cake. If it's buttercream icing decoration, I do not ganache it. I just simply cover it with buttercream and decorate it with buttercream. But the reason why I actually use ganache, uh, um, as I learned from a friend of mine, a caking friend of mine, it, I mean, it helps to give some sort of structure um, to the cake, uh, which leaves you with a very favorable result with your fondant in terms of sharp edges, straight um, sides, and all that. So ganache, ganache your cakes because it's hard chocolate that helps you or helps me to ensure a smooth finishing on my cakes uh, however customers still have a choice if they want chocolate ganache or that cake or not and i must tell you the combination of chocolate ganache and your cake is amazing especially white chocolate ganache it is delicious it gives a different kind of level of taste to your cakes and again that's why i um, ganache my cakes my fondant decorated cake and I've had feedback from clients saying um, what did you put on the cake it, it, it it's amazing you know you know having said that that doesn't mean that it's all clients that would love chocolates but um, majority in fact 99.99.9% .99 of my clients love the combination of ganache with their cakes hello how are you doing? I trust your Saturday is going on really great. I'm just showing you the stage we are at in respect of um, this two tier cake. You can see it's now ganached. I've ganached the six inch round one with uh, milk chocolate ganache and also the hexagon 10 inch with uh, white chocolate ganache. So just milk chocolate ganache in this one and just white chocolate ganache in this one sometimes I, it depends on how it flows i i can use one just one type of ganache for one or a mixture of uh, both type of ganache and now it is, it is now beautifully covered with ganache the next stage of the process will be to cover it with fondant and that's what we're going to do so stay tuned take care bye for now hello guys this is where we are at at the moment we the cakes all covered up and looking bang that's the top tier covered in pink fondant and the bottom tier the hexagon tier covered in um pink and black marble i wasn't really sure about this they didn't really mean for the black to really be multiple like that but hey ho uh, you can never know until you try. So here it is. Hi, it is. And can you see the sharp edges on those hexagon four corners? Can you see these sharp edges? It can cut your fingers if you actually touch it. Anyway, now I'm moving on to the stacking of the cakes. And I'll see you in a bit. Now, this is where we are with the cake. All covered up. Stacked. 
It is stable and it is sturdy. Now we move on to the fun part. The fun part begins. That is the decoration part. Can you guess what we are decorating? Can you actually guess the theme of this cake? If you can guess, give me a shout out or drop me a comment and statement. And I'll let you know if you're right or not. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit once the cake is um, getting into shape. So again, this is how the cake is at the moment. This is what it's looking like. This is where we are at. We are almost at the final stages, just um, finishing off. Now you get the gist, you get the idea of this sort of cake we are creating. Do you like it? Give us a shout out if you do like it. If you do like it, give us a shout out. And that's the finished product. Uh, well, I was simply given a brief to create a 50 belly cake with America theme. And here it is. I hope I have done a good job. I didn't really know how it was going to turn out, but I think I'm okay with the result. Uh, so I have incorporated um, 50 yet with a picture. That's a picture that was sent to me. I actually wanted a picture with her dressed in her America suit but that's the picture the one so she's 50 and fabulous and at the, on the top is the Mary Kay so there are the car if they earn it and of course the Mary Kay logo and I've added a few of Mary Kay favorite products as well and that's the logo of the Mini Cooper that's the Mary Kay 3D Miracle set that's the Mary Kay Time Wise Repair Volume that's the Mary Kay uh, Color Cosmetic that's the Mary Kay loose powder foundation and pressed powder and again that's the Mary Kay uh, logo and she's director Christine and there is the finished product I hope I did a good job with the design and the execution of it anyway thank you for staying tuned give me a shout out give me a comment send me a, a reply to this story if you like um, the end product thank you and uh, have a wonderful week ahead stay blessed and stay safe Bye for now. Bye-bye.